video, we're going to look at how to work in Android Studio. We're going to imagine that we had some previous project and we have two main files, the layout XML and the, the Kotlin code. And then we are going to use those two files from the previous fold to sort of turn that, turn a, a sort of hello world project into the, the previous project point is going to be to make a hello world project in android studio and so we're going to go to file new new project in the menu I'm going to choose in, in the dialog that pops up phone and tablet and then we're going to choose empty views activity not empty activity but empty views activity and then next a new activity it wants you to give it a name that uh, changes the package it also changes the save location it usually makes it the same i happen to already have something called hello stranger so it put it in a location hello stranger 2 um, but that was just unusual of the history of what i was doing um, and then click finish i like to see that we're starting with a working project even if it's just hello world and the, the projects always use this gradle and so we're waiting now for the gradle to sync and then we will test the hello world project and then we will turn it into the other project it was done syncing then i'm going to choose an avd i happen to have two so i use the drop down list at the top and choose avd and then next to that drop down at the top there was a triangular green button for running the app i am currently running the app so it's turned into that sort of curved arrow and uh, we see the emulated phone with the hello world message so we have a functioning hello world project I am looking at that project that we just made, the Hello Stranger project, um, which is in the location Hello Stranger 2 for me. And we see that that is an awful lot of files that were, I don't know, 600 and some files made. Um, so, but when we have a project, there are really only a couple of files where like we as programmers or uh, interface designers are actually uh, having any, doing it actually any of our direct work and so for a simple project um, there are really only uh, two files the activity underscore main xml and that's where our sort of design of the interface our layout is and then our our sort of action is our kotlin code of main activity kt so i want to show how to turn this newly opened uh, hello world project with its 600 and some files uh, and take just the two essential files from some pre-existing uh, project and use those two files to turn the hello world into that full-blown project. Showing here, I have the two files from that sort of pre-existing project, the activity underscore main XML and the main activity dot KT. And those are what I'm going to use sort of to copy and paste over the, the hello world and turn the hello world into my into my other pre-existing project. And uh, I just have another thing I like when I'm looking at files. Uh, to see their extensions and I'm on a window system so I am just also showing here the control panel the file uh, explorer options and saying that I uh, unchecking deselecting the hide extensions because I like to see them here we are in Android Studio and I want to have these two files I want to sort of paste over and I'm going to do the layout XML, the, the activity underscore main dot XML. I'm going to use that first. And so I take on the left hand side, I find my, my app and I'm expanding the, the res, the resources folder, the res folder, and there should be a layout. If I've chosen the right kind of project, uh, it will have a layout and under layout, it will have that activity underscore main dot XML. And then this is this is the layout. This is the 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 design, the, the way it looks. And uh, but we want to what we have is code. We want to copy over some code. So uh, sort of in the middle of Android Studio toward the top, 
uh, once you've chosen the activity uh, underscore main.xml and that's what's highlighted and that's what we're looking at, then we can choose a code view and then we can see the, the XML that lies behind that. And this is the uh, hello world. We see that there's just in this XML, there's basically just what's called a text view that uh, and its text is hello world. We're going to do now is we're going to with Android Studio open to the XML layout within code view we're going to open up the other projects uh, XML in some text editor I like notepad plus plus and just copy it all from notepad plus plus and paste it over into the the view the the XML view in within Android Studio so we had started with just a simple text view that said hello world and now when we're done we have a text view that says enter your name and an edit text where they can enter the text and a button and so on copy the layout the the interface and now we want to copy the code so we need to find that so again on the left hand side we are under app under java under com example hello stranger 2 for me main activity so there are three things under java and two of them say android test and test and i it's the the one that doesn't say test that's the one i want and so click on main activity and that opens up the kotlin and again so we're setting up to copy the the other projects kotlin over the hello world I need to copy the code that i've opened up in notepad plus plus from my pre-existing project into this new hello world project but i have to be careful of one thing and that is the package so the package is some sort of namespace idea that the, the project and the files in the project will belong to this and refer to this package. And these two things had different packages. And so I want to use, I don't wanna, I wanna keep the project, the hello world project that I just sort of opened up and I want to keep it as the package name. So I want all the other code, but not the previous versions package. So, so you see I've in the gray, I've highlighted in Notepad++, I've highlighted everything but the package name, and I'm going to paste that over. The result of that pasting, so in Android Studio, which is sort of the behind thing, um, it still has its original Hello Stranger package, but the, uh, and so that, the, the the notepads package and the Android Studios package disagree, but everything else is the same. That's that's what I need to do when I copy it. Copying worked, then there won't be any errors and you won't see any red. But I have seen occasionally weird things happen with the XML file. And um, often what you'll need to do is maybe change a name and then change it back. So the the Kotlin will refer to names in the XML, so they've got to agree. But if the XML gets confused, the Kotlin gets confused. And so sometimes I find that the XML is the culprit in the copying if, there's, if there are issues. And I can often sort of change it and change it back and it makes the world right again. Uh, so you might need to do that. I didn't have to turned successfully the hello world project into this hello stranger project which allows the user to uh, enter a name in an edit text and click a button and then get the name from the name that the user entered and add the word hello to it and display a message so that's what we wanted to do we're, we're not writing code but we're taking existing code or the two essential files from some existing project and and sort of you know expanding it by starting with a hello world project and sort of turning it into a full-blown project